Hey friends, this is Wendy with Canon Plan and I'm excited to be joining you guys today. I am a direct sales planner coach, helping mompreneurs, direct sellers, and network marketers be able to build goals, develop habits, and manage tasks to take back control of their 24 hours in order using a paper planner. And today we are diving in to some weekly planning. We are going to be using the weekly hourly insert. And I got this amazing insert at a Tool 12 tour that I did back in January. And inside of it is a whole bunch of different weekly inserts. And so I wanted to spend some time showcasing them with you today. So the first one is actually an appointment. It's very similar to the weekly hourly, weekly block hourly. And so I want to share that with you. And then we're going to dive into the weekly a block hourly, which is the extra large insert that I want to share with you. So this is actually the appointment uh, layout in a medium. And the difference between the appointment layout and the weekly block hourly is that these are broken up into 15 minute segments, which are great for those of you that need to plan on a 15 minute course, or maybe you are using it for appointment like a hairdresser or somebody else that needs to have 15, 30 minute or 45 or minute or hourly blocks. So this is a very interesting layout for that purpose. I love a good vertical layout. I am very much a list list oriented person. And so for this for me, this style makes the most sense, but I want to share with you what the actual layout looks like, kind of all decorated up. So this is Bessie, and Bessie is going to be bringing with, to share with you guys a couple of the pages that I used for this particular layout. Again, this is the weekly block hourly. Let me share with you what this entails. So it has a place at the top for you to put your top three. Um, here I covered this one with a sticker that says important. Um, also to-do list. So it gives you a place down the side for you to write lists. And then you have plenty of space along the bottom to write notes. This is great if you are a time blocker. It's not something that I'm fantastic at, but I'm going to show you a layout here in a little bit that I actually did with some time blocking. It looks a little busy, but it makes a lot of sense for what I was working on for that particular week. So you can use this, obviously, to decorate with stickers. You can use this for time blocking. You can use it to track when you need to pick your kids up from school, what certain tasks you have to do at certain times. If you have different appointments that you need to track, those kinds of things can all happen happen in an hourly block style. Okay. But I wanted to share with you some information that I learned back in uh, January. No, this was February. I was doing a review of the 12 week year. And in the 12 week year, he talks about three different styles of blocking. There's strategic, there's buffer, and then there is, what is the last one? It's called a breakout block. Okay. And so I actually drew this in my journal, my bullet journal, because I wanted to be able to try this out before I went and bought the whole thing. So you can kind of see how this particular layout was set up. Again, vertical style, one of my favorites. But what I did each day was I wrote out all the things that I had to do, things that were actually on my schedule. And those are the ones that are just small highlighted sections. So for example, on Monday, that particular day, my kids didn't have school and um, I wanted to be up and journaling. I had a weekly planning meeting at nine. I had a live business page uh, video that I was doing at three, um, some boot camp planning, and then dinner. So in between of those, I found blocks of time and I incorporated different activities in those times. So these are considered buffer blocks. Buffer blocks, according to the 12-week year, are the time when you fit in your small tasks. So down here at the bottom, I kind of color coded what activities I did in each buffer block. So in the first buffer block, I did newsletter, I wrote out an email, and I did Monday minutes for my team. In the next buffer block, I did a craft with me number 20 video, and I scheduled all AM can and plan and posts. So, and then I went on and did that over the course of the week. 
One thing that I really found that I loved in this particular time blocking was utilizing a strategic time block. With this strategic time block, I wrote 10 emails and did 16 posts in a three hour time block, which was great. I really focused in on that particular task. I didn't utilize um, social media at that time. I didn't have anything open on my computer other than my email and my Canva creating website. And I just got to work. The other thing that I loved was scheduling an actual breakout block. And a breakout block is where you spend time actually taking a break from work. And I did this particularly on this day because I knew I had an event coming up later. And so I wanted to make sure that I spent some extra time with my kids here when I knew I was going to be on the computer a little bit longer in the evening than what I normally is normally am. So this again is a fantastic style for you to use if you want to get into time blocking, if you like to know what you're doing, when you need to be there and all those things. I loved having the opportunity to uh, have my task list here and then to mark off each one of the things that I was doing in each of those blocks, which was a fantastic way to kind of track and do a time inventory to see what it is that I had going on. So for you, if you are a time blocker, if you are somebody that needs that absolute structure, you want to see where you're spending your time, then I would highly recommend that you grab an hourly or a weekly block hourly and insert. The ones that I showed with you today are the extra large version in this um, insert that I got from Tour. I shared with you the appointment block, which has them in smaller chunks. It's a little bit harder to write in these blocks. But again, if you need something that has smaller chunks of time rather than hour blocks, this would be a great one for you to grab as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you found this information valuable, please feel free to share it out and I'll see you all soon. Bye, friends.